Why don't you just sing a song and let it go with that? Yeah, yeah, maybe you're right. Fellas would probably be disappointed if I don't. <laughs> After all, Wilma, you know I used to sing with a band before, before I, I married, married you. you. <laughs> yes, yes, I know, Fred. You've told me a thousand times. Welcome back to the Water Left Frog podcast. Each episode, I walk through all the music and art that I've created or co-created over the last 30 or 40 years. It is always busy here at Center Neptune. Uh, This week, we saw some studio updates, a few new songs, uh, scheduled practices for the Daniels, and a new album project. Now, on to the music. Writing with others is something that I do enjoy. This week's first song comes from a collaboration that started about a month and a half ago. A friend at work said, hey, I wrote some lyrics to a song. Well, I'm always open to seeing people's lyrics. I have never understood why grown folks think it is beneath them to do something creative. So whenever someone says, hey, I wrote some lyrics, I'm gonna be encouraging and supporting to the greatest extent that I can. A little creativity in our lives would do the world a lot of good. So Angela gives me the lyrics and I say, let me see what I can do with them. Well. The lyrics are pretty good, and I got this little tingle when I get a good idea that comes together and makes something interesting, so I sent her a rough draft of the song. She gave it a thumbs up, and so I wrapped up the recording a couple weeks ago, and I think we're both happy with the results. This is called Sub Rosa. Throw me a lifeline, throw me a rope, I'm not drowning. Where the curtain went, fighting my cage, crawling through struggle, tangled in the shit, and we drift away, gone for days. Sabrina, Sabrosa, we're all. Love 
That's pretty darn good if I don't say so myself. There's a book by Zora Neale Hurston called Their Eyes Were Watching God. I had that book on my shelf next to me where I write, and so I'm always nicking titles from things when I'm trying to write a song. So the title, Their Eyes Were Watching God, got rearranged in my head, and I turned it into God's Eyes Were Upon Them. I think this rustic quality was still there in the phrase, and it had that kind of old biblical sense that I like. So I went with it. Now this particular recording goes back to around 1999. I was living in an apartment with my wife and the spare bedroom was set up with my recording equipment. I have to seriously thank my wife for putting up with always having a space to create in our living quarters. She's been beyond understanding in that regard. Living with a creative person is not that much fun. I'm difficult to say the least, but she's supportive of my weirdness and we've been together now for over 20 years. So I'm forever thankful for her tolerance in that regard. I had just purchased this little silver tone amp, and it dates back to the 1950s. And when matched with this Epiphone ES120, it spits out songs like it's Christmas. This is definitely a case where the guitar and the amp wrote the song and inspired a certain style. So this is called God's Eyes Were Upon Them. a hell of a good time throwing us like a handful of pennies back into the jar the depth is down outside that crack door because the winter is with a kiss and I'm tempted to put myself back in front of this car and see for the last time who could really win I drop my book up, I turn to the last page Cause I think this is where I will begin It's been one of those kind of days There's a bunch of grown folks standing at the front page Telling me to let them in And by the time I pick them pieces back up out the floor, I can't figure out where to begin. The devil called me up and I said I ain't got the time now, but hey, we'll talk on Sunday. He said he was busy, but he'll check his schedule and see if he can fill me in.
years we got a few people in common A few of those boys back from the old school They're waving it off the flies Get to thinking and leave me alone For about an hour or two Somewhere in the back of my head I can feel them burning crosses that he drew I'm getting thirsty in the air. Last episode, I talked about the song Bringing Our Daughter Home. It came from an album that I did called We Blue. I had a lot of fun recording this project. It yielded a good batch of songs, and the recording was purposely kept simple. Two guitars, a bass, and vocals. Let the songs speak for themselves. That was my main motto at the time. Go Down Moses was probably the strongest song in that whole collection. I had been reading a lot of Flannery O'Connor at the time, and she was once quoted as saying, If you survive childhood, you will have enough material to write for the rest of your life. Well, I've taken that to heart. In my 50s, I am still writing songs each week, hoping to get better and better. And the well that I keep going back to is my childhood. So, Go Down Moses is one of those songs where Flannery was whispering a story in my ear, and I wrote down quickly to make sure that I got it all. This is called Go Down Moses. Pushing a tongue where right to the bend Rolling in the doorway, worshiping sin Black voices hollering hymns lay in the night Rosetta and me playing Moses Bodies in flight Turning empty bottles and love on a spin Asking without looking, hiding her grin Tempting me with whispers in the sudden sun Smoke a cigarette, a couple of drags And we're done Copacetic man and the stars are found We're laying on our backs, tracing the ground Turn the pages, light in the water We drown Can't let a paw, no, I've been here Won't push me back, I still got fear I ain't supposed to be in this bar down. Go down, Moses, go down, go down. When it's dark and the lights disappear Brown skin and knockout, no one around She shows me in the dark, I skin to skin White teeth on my shoulder She lets me in Chips of pain on an old windowsill Busted bedposts, we lay real still Feet touching under the covers, her head on me Sounds of a mama The kitchen underneath Copacetic man and the stars are found We're laying on our backs, tracing the ground Turn the pages, light in the water We drown Can't let a paw know I've been here Won't push me back, I still got fear Ain't supposed to be in this part of town Go down Moses, go down Steal away 
when I love and it's done Eyes out a window, tall tales spun The color of our skin, the weight of 16 tons And I can hear a mother saying, we done, we done wrong Copacetic men and the stars are found Laying on our backs, tracing the ground Turn the pages, light in the water We drown Can't let up Paul No, I've been here Won't push me back, I still got fear I ain't supposed to be in this part of town Go down Moses, go down when I wrote this next song, I frankly didn't have much love for it. I wrote this at a time when I was doing a lot of traveling. Work had taken me away from home, and I don't like being away from my wife and kids. I felt like it was a woe is me song. I've learned over time that just because I don't like one of my songs, that it doesn't mean that it isn't good. It took someone else to hear the rough version of the song and say, there's something there, you need to record this. Fine, I'll give it a go. I laid the basic tracks and felt it got a little bit better. We hired a fiddle player from Nashville to come in and do a take. After Brendan played, I got teared up. He brought such a mood to the song that it made it extraordinary. I enjoy the hell out of this recording now. This is called Motel 6. Stuck in a motel on Highway 6 Vacancy sign, 18 wheelers Cracks in the concrete inside the door Doors open, it's just about dark The trailer pockets are chasing each other Smearing dirt across their face and skinny arms Waiting by the phone on the bed Chilla with no sound check up it Got me wearing my socks to the bathroom Feeling dizzy from the smell Paint over chipped up wall in the air condition With the fake wooden panels And I could tell you Walk outside my door Maybe get a bucket of ice Just to get out of here Keep my head down Stare at the sidewalk Got your picture by the bed Telling if I hold you again So don't wait for me Sirens in the distance I can tell you
Sarah Teasdale was born Sarah Trevor Teasdale on August 8, 1884. During her life, she wrote several poetry collections and won a Pulitzer Prize for her 1917 poetry collection, Love Songs. Now, being born and raised in St. Louis, I have a fondness for all things St. Louis. Sarah is buried at Bellefontaine Cemetery in St. Louis. And Bellefontaine Cemetery is a massive cemetery. It has the graves of a lot of St. Louis famous sons and daughters. I came across Sarah's grave one cold January afternoon while on a walk through the cemetery. It's a small, discreet headstone. Some flowers and candles were placed around her headstone. It's clear that she had not been forgotten. On the way home, I ordered a copy of her collected book of poems. And when the book arrived, I spent the day reading through her work. I was amazed to see how contemporary her poems felt to me. I picked out my favorite of her poems and used those words as lyrics to a set of songs, which I called Teasdale's Dream. This is the first song from that project, and it's based on her poem called August Moonrise. The sun was gone and the moon was coming Over the blue Connecticut The west was rosy and the east was flushed And over my head the swallows rushed This way and that changeful ways I heard them twitter and watched them dark Now together Dark petals blown from a tree The maples stamped against the west Were black and stayed the full of rest And the hazy orange moon grew up And slowly changed to yellow gold While the hills were dark Something near your desire. And if 
my soul must go alone through cold infinity. Or even if it vanished too, beauty, I have worshipped you. And let this single hour atone for the theft of all of me. Well, that wraps up this episode of the Water Left Frog podcast. I want to thank you for taking the time to walk with me through this journey of good music, good memories. As always, I hope you find something here that you like. I encourage you to search through my channel on YouTube, as you will see all of my music is posted there. I also have a blog over at Substack that I typically forget to mention. Big thanks to the staff here at Center Neptune Studios. They do a great job of keeping the tapes rolling and sounding good. Big thanks to our legal team, Dewey, Cheatham, and Howe. We'll be back with another episode to wrap up in a couple of weeks with the start of season three of the Water Left Frog podcast. Thanks for listening. Keep buying those records and sharing the songs that you love. It could mean something to somebody else. <laughs>